Incorrect handling can also present hazards to human health. The most likely routes of entry into the human body are by inhalation or direct contact with the skin. Short-term local exposure can cause skin irritation, whilst long-term exposure may result in conditions such as dermatitis. Breathing solvent vapours can make you less alert, causing possible headaches and dizziness, which may increase your chance of having an accident. Ingestion of solvent liquids should be avoided, and good hygiene should be practised, so prevention of any such exposure is therefore one of the key safe handling messages. Solvents can also present a hazard to the environment, and all wastes, including materials and packaging, must be disposed of safely and in accordance with legislation. For example, small spillages can be absorbed using mats or inert granules, which should be disposed of safely using a registered waste contractor. Now that we're all aware of the potential hazards, we need to know what we're dealing with in our own workplace. A well-regulated legal framework is in place to provide protection for both workers and the environment. There are many sources of information, such as safety data sheets, to help you gain the knowledge needed to safely handle any solvent you work with. So make sure you know what's available. If anything is unclear, ask your supervisor and contact the approved supplier if more information is needed. Technical language may need further explanation and most reputable suppliers have their own experienced experts who are happy to assist with such matters. Taking appropriate precautions will help to ensure everyone's safety and risk assessments should always be carried out prior to handling. As a first principle, the adoption of good housekeeping practices and the maintenance of a tidy operating area will minimise your potential for exposure. To avoid inhalation, always make sure your operating environment has adequate ventilation and in many cases the simple expedience of working outside or opening windows can be adequate. When it's not, however, there may be a requirement for forced ventilation. Never enter confined spaces such as tanks, pits, small rooms or vehicle compartments where there may be vapours, unless you've ensured that it's safe to do so by ventilating the space and testing the atmosphere, or unless special precautions are taken.